Assalamu alaikum dear students I am your math teacher for class 6 Now open your math book page number 65 exercise number 4.7 we will do question number 3 5 and 8 Now open your math seva copy draw margin line mention date exercise number page number simplify question number 3 2 upon 7 divide square bracket 3 upon 4 curly bracket round bracket 4 upon 7 minus bar 5 upon 14 plus 8 upon 21 round bracket close multiply 7 upon 12 curly bracket close square bracket close give heading solution rewrite the question while solving such expressions first the part under the bar is solved then the brackets are removed one after the other in the sequence of round bracket, curly bracket, and square bracket. Keep remaining part of the question as it is. In this step, we take LCM of these two fractions. Refork 14 and 21. Two sevens of 14, 21 as it is. 7 as it is 3 7s are 21 7 7 1s are 7 7 1s are 7 we multiply all the factors of 14 and 21 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 7 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 7 makes 42 so we write 42 in denominator we take first fraction and multiply it with the answer of lcm 5 upon 14 multiply by 42 2 7s of 14 2 2s of 4 2 1s are 2 7 1 the 7 7 3 is a 21 5 multiplied by 3 makes 15 so we write 15 in numerator 15 plus for second fraction we mul we multiply it with the answer of lcm 8 upon 21 multiply by 42 3 7s are 21, 3 1s are 3, remaining 1 makes it 12, 3 4s are 12, 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14, 8 multiplied by 2 makes 16, so we write 16 in numerator, bar, remaining part of the question as it is, 15 plus 16 makes 31. So we write 31, 42, 42. again we take LCM of these two fractions, rough work, we multiply all the factors of 7 and 42, 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 7 makes 42. So we write 42 in denominator. We take first fraction and multiply it with the answer of LCM. 24 minus 24. For second fraction, we multiply it with the answer of LCM. Twenty four minus thirty one minus seven. So we write minus seven upon forty two multiply seven upon twelve. Seven one the seven seven six of forty two. 
minus 7 multiplied by 1 makes minus 7 so we write minus 7 6 multiplied by 12 makes 72 so we write 72 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 remaining part of the question remaining part of the question as it is open the bracket 7 upon 42 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 3 ones are 3 remaining 1 makes it 12 3 fours are 12 1 multiplied by minus 7 makes minus 7 4 multiplied by 14 makes 96 so we write minus 7 upon 96 2 upon 7 we cannot solve with divide sign so we change divide sign to multiply sign when we change divide sign to multiply sign the value of right side get reciprocal two multiply by 96 makes 192 so we write 192 upon 7 multiplied by 7 makes 49 so we write 49 192 divided by 49 rough work 2 divide we put denominator in divisor place and numerator in dividend place 49 3 is a 147 minus borrow 1 from 9 makes 12 and it becomes 8 12 minus 7 5 so we write 5 8 minus 4 4 1 minus 1 there is no remainder we write answer in clockwise minus 3 whole 45 upon 49 its answer question number 8 2.2 .2 plus square bracket bar 0.22 plus 0.33 divide round bracket 0.44 divide 0.11 round bracket close square bracket close give heading solution remaining part of the question as it is we write zero before decimal zero point two two plus zero point three three bar divide 0 0.44 divide 0 0.11 first we solve bar value rough work 0 0.22 Plus, when we do addition and subtraction, we make sure that we write decimal under the decimal. 0 0.33 2 plus 3, 5 2 plus 3, 5 We write decimal under the decimal. 0 plus 0, 0 
0.22 पॉइंट टू टू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री मेक्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो वी राइट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइव बार रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एज इट इज टू डिवाइड फर्स्ट वी रिमूव द डेसिमल वेन वी रिमूव द डेसिमल वी पुट वन इन डिनोमिनेटर दे आर टू डिजिट प्लेसिस आफ्टर डेसिमल सो वी पुट टू जीरो आफ्टर वन डिवाइड फर्स्ट वी रिमूव द डेसिमल When we remove the decimal, we put one in denominator. There are two digit places after decimal, so we put two zeros after one. Remaining part of the question as it is, it becomes forty four upon hundred. So we write forty four upon hundred. It becomes eleven upon hundred. So we write eleven upon hundred. Remaining part of the question as it is. We cannot solve with divide sign, so we change divide sign to multiply sign. When we change divide sign to multiply sign, the value of right side get reciprocal. Hundred upon eleven. Hundred one's a hundred. Hundred ones a hundred, eleven ones a eleven, eleven fours a forty-four. Remaining part of the question as it is, four. Zero point five five divided by four. Rough work. We put four in divisor place, and zero point five five in dividend place. We shift decimal from divided place to quotient place, like this. We shift decimal from divided place to quotient place, like this. We put decimal from divided place to quotient place, like this. Four ones are four. Minus. Five minus four, one. We can take five from divided place for one, and it becomes fifteen. Four three is a twelve. Five minus two, three. One minus one, there is no remainder. We have already put the decimal, so we can write zero with three. And it becomes thirty. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Seven, twenty-eight. Borrow one from three, makes ten, and it becomes two. Ten minus eight, two. Two minus two, there is no remainder. We have already put the decimal, so we can write another zero. Four fives are twenty. Five, twenty. Zero minus zero, there is no remainder. Two minus two, there is no remainder. Remaining part of the question as it is: zero point five five divided by four makes zero point one three seven five. So we write zero point one three seven five. Two. Two point two plus zero point one three seven five. Rough work. When we do addition and subtraction, we make sure that we write decimal under the decimal. Zero point one three seven five. We put zero to balancing the digits. Zero plus five five. 
zero plus seven seven zero plus three three two plus one three we write decimal under the decimal two plus zero two two point two plus zero point one three seven five makes two point three three seven five so we write two point three three seven five its answer i have explained you question number 3 and 8 you will do question number 5 by yourself this is the end of today's lecture thank you allah hafiz